Welcome to Artistic Digitizer, five minutes at a time. In today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of our welcome page, how to set your default hoop and fabric, how to change from inches to metric, and how to find the properties and colors should they be closed or unavailable. On the right hand side, you'll find your videos right over here. Many times you might have them closed, so you can use the little arrow right here to open them. Your recents are in the center here. These are things that you worked on most recently, and you can open and close them by clicking on the red X's. In this column here, we're gonna come back to, this is where you're going to set your default machine and hoop and your default fabric and embroidery category. The column here is where you would go into your program. So let's click on the hoop here. In the first um, box here, you can choose your brand. So I have Janome chosen. And then over here are all the models of our embroidery machines. And I would choose the brand, that, the model that I use the most. And then down here, I'm going to pick my most common hoop. And I like to start with my largest hoop. I can always change it on the workspace. But now I've set my default uh, hoop and machine. So everything is all set right there when I open the program. In this box, this is where you're going to set your embroidery category. And you can set a fabric color um, or a little uh, graphic behind your work if you need to. So I just like a smooth background, so I always pick none. The ca categories, every fabric in this category for normal are the same parameters, same densities that you're working with, and then you would change those in the properties. If you are working in another one, say you want to do smooth, it's a lighter stitching, these are the types of fabrics that would work with smooth. You don't have to actually pick a particular one. You just have to make sure you're in the category that you want to be in. So I'm going to pick those two. I'm going to click on OK. And now it'll stay there until I change it on the work page. Let's go into the work page. And I wanted to show you how to change from inches to metric or metric to inches. It's defaulting to metric when you get it. If you're on a PC, you will go up here into this gray area and click on tools and tool options. On a, PC, on a Mac, I'm going to go up above that area and go to artistic preferences. It opens the same window and it shows you right here uh, what your um, software, where you can change your software from inches to metric. So right now I am in inches, which is imperial. So yours might say two imperial. If you want to work in inches, you would click there. If I wanted to work in metric after that, I would click to metric. I don't need to switch back and forth. I'm going to show you how you can auto convert right in the program. Click OK. The next time you open your software, those changes will be saved. So I'm going to use a shape over here and I'm just going to left click and draw the shape, drag it. I'm going to delete the inside and I'm going to turn off my shapes tool. And while it's selected, I can see in my properties, um, the fill, if I had a fill and the outline parameters, I'm going to change the outline to a satin. And I like to use millimeters when I'm talking about outlines and stitch lengths. So here my outline width is going to be 4.0 mm and hit enter and it auto converts it for me. You can see it changed back to inches and it changed it over here. Now, if you're in metric and you have someone give you an inch number, maybe your circle or your oval needs to be uh, two inches by two inches. In the box up here, you would put 2.0 in and 2.0 in and it would auto convert it for you to metric. So you don't have to keep going back and forth on that part of it. If your properties and colors are closed and you don't see them over here, up in the big gray area here, you can right click and turn on colors, right click again and turn on properties. They lay on top of each other and you can toggle between them like this. Now properties, nothing will show here on properties until I have something selected. So make sure you have something selected and then you'll have uh, all your properties available to you and your colors as well. And that's five minutes with Artistic Digitizer.